Hi, this is Carrie, and we're going to start off with a whole new series of videos on DaVinci Resolve 15. It is now available for public beta. If you're using the free version, there is a free version of the beta to try out. And if you own the studio, whether you have the dongle or an activation key, you can install the DaVinci Resolve 15 Studio. Now, if you are going to do that and you're doing production work, rename the folder for the DaVinci Resolve that you already have. So here I have DaVinci Resolve 12.5, I have DaVinci Resolve 14 because when you in install 15, it's going to do it as DaVinci Resolve. And if you have 14 or 12 named DaVinci Resolve, it's going to overwrite it and there goes everything that you've been working on. So rename these folders so that you can install the beta side by side and have them there all working for you. So that's tip number one. Now we're going to go into some of the different features and improvements, all kinds of stuff that they have in here. It has speed improvements, which is always nice. You know, no one ever wants to complain about uh, things being too slow. And certainly no one ever complains when things are too fast. So there's definitely that. So we're gonna look at some of the features. One thing that is super cool is this new icon down in the middle for Fusion. It actually has the full version of Fusion, which is kind of the uh, Blackmagic's uh, version of After Effects. It's compositing and 3D and all kinds of cool things that you can do in Fusion. So we're gonna take a look at that in the color tab. There's a bunch of cool new improvements. My favorite being this new LUT browser. So I can just browse over, drag around, and see what a different LUT is gonna look like. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna reset the grade on this. And then you can just browse over. And when you find one that you like, you can just drag it into the scene or drag it onto the, uh, so this is one I use a lot, Gnome Curls. Uh, it's got a lot of blue in there, ah, it's all right for now. So I just drop it in, there we go, LUT applied. And I was able to see pr before applying it what it's gonna look like. I think that is a huge improvement for color control. Going over to the Fairlight page, one of the new things in here is audio noise reduction. Oh, I've wanted this built into Resolve from the day I started using it. Final Cut has it, Premiere has it, even iMovie has it, and some of the lower end software packages have it, but DaVinci Resolve did not have it. Now it does, along with a number of other really cool uh, audio enhancement tools, make your life really easy and do everything in one thing. So uh, as we do additional videos, we're gonna look at uh, how to use the noise reduction tool. The editor page uh, is gonna look mostly familiar. There's a couple new things, but for the most part, if you've been using Resolve, you're gonna get the hang of this real fast. We still have our media pool. Uh, in our effects library, we have all these new titles. These are super cool. They are fusion-based titles. So let's, um, I'll just drag one down on here. Now this isn't the fastest machine, so there's a little delay as it loads the fusion engine and prepares to put it in. But now once it's in there, using the inspector, I have you know standard controls for color and the text and things. And you can see what it looks like down in the bottom. So there's a handful of really nicely done title templates that are built in. Now, what is super, super cool about this is these were built inside of DaVinci Resolve 15 using the Fusion tab. Yes, you can create your own super cool titles, save them, and be able to reuse them over and over and over again. It's 
one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time because you can use any of the fusion tools. You could do 3D text and particles and all. You could get as crazy as you want and it's it's there. It's there for the taking. So uh, kudos to uh, Black Magic for incorporating not only some really nice looking professional titles, but the ability for us to create new title templates with all of the controls on the right hand side that we need to control that particular uh, effect. So loving, loving that. Uh, in the video transitions, uh, not really much new to talk about here. Uh, all the cheesy ones are still there. Uh, <laughs> You know, stuff that you should probably never use, but uh, they're there. Audio transitions, uh, along with the titles. The generators are still here, nothing new here. Some open effects. We have some of the stuff that we could only get in the color page, now in the edit page, which is very nice. So we can just do some simple stuff, dehazing, some coloring, some generation stuff, reflections. We can do it all in, not everything, but we can do a lot of the effects stuff in the edit page, which I, again, really jazzed on that. And audio effects, same thing. We have access to some of those in the edit page. So if I don't wanna really just bounce over to Fairlight just to do noise reduction, I can do it right here in the edit page. So some really cool new features and we're gonna be looking at more and more of these in different videos and really show you how each one operates and how each one works and really get you up to speed on this new 15 before it's finally released. So keep in mind, it is a beta and you know you, it will crash once in a while or something may not work quite right, but that's all right. Remember, it's a beta and go back to the beginning of the video where I show you how to install it next to your existing copy so that you're not stuck with something that you know isn't quite working right if you know you're having problems with it so be sure like this video share it with your friends share it on facebook or whatever to other people you know that might be interested in davinci resolve 15 subscribe to our videos and click that bell icon to be notified every time something new comes out so stay tuned for more videos on davinci resolve 15 this has been carrie Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.